In this video we're going to talk about one, two, three blocks. After posting my last couple of videos where I was checking the ways on the Precision Matthews, I got a few comments about the one, two, three blocks and whether or not I checked the one, two, three blocks to make sure that they were dimensionally accurate. And that was a real good question and I failed to mention that in the videos so I thought I would take a minute and just talk about that now all of my one two three blocks are economy grade I picked them up at uh, Shars they are not all dimensionally exact so bear that in mind if you're just picking up four one two three blocks to do some checks with um, chances of them being all exactly the same dimension are probably uh, not that good so these are supposed to be with uh, plus or minus a tenth of an inch uh, and if you look at the description it says point zero 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 one to point zero 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 two sometimes the description is not a real good it's kind of vague but some of them I saw for plus or minus two tenths and these say that they're supposed to be, uh, I guess, plus or minus a tenth. So you want to check your one, two, three blocks and make sure that they're all the same, especially if you're going to be using them as I did uh, to check the flatness of your ways. Uh, if your blocks are uneven, it's going to throw your dimensions off and it's going to throw your measurements off. Let me show you. Now this particular indicator here is... Uh, half a thou, five tenths. So moving it, moving these one, two, three blocks across here, um, they should all be on zero if they're plus or minus two tenths or plus within a, a couple of tenths. They should all show up as zero using this particular indicator. But if we increase the resolution, you're going to be able to see the difference between these. Now they all look like they're all the same height. However, I do have some blocks that are not. But we're using a indicator that is five tenths. So let me switch out to a better uh, indicator with a better resolution. Now this is the indicator that I was using to check all of my ways. This one is uh, a tenth of an inch. But I have one that I just recently picked up that is two microns, point zero zero two millimeters which is about 78 millionths but let's use this tenth indicator I have here very very sensitive okay let's try this again there we go looks pretty close about a half, not quite on directly on the line there. About the same. About the same. Okay, so these are all about the same height dimensionally. Let's try these two. You can see this one's a little off, about a tenth. This one's about a tenth shorter. Try these. This one's okay. This one's okay. And it looks like this one, eh, it's about a half a tenth. Well, now it looks okay. 
all right so you can see that they're not all the same and you want to just make sure that you check uh, all your one two three blocks and make sure they're all the same height when you go to check your ways now you may end up doing like I did and purchase several sets of one two three blocks or you may just have four and you make do with what you have so if you have four check them all dimensionally make sure they're the same height and adjust as necessary you can use some shim stock to make sure that they're all the same height so that when you go to put uh, your ways and check your base and your table and your column when you go to put that on your one two three blocks uh, shim if you need to just make sure that they're all the same height that's that just a quick tip on these one two three blocks they are not all the same and you will want to check them before you lay your table and stuff up there because like with mine um, they may be off now I used um, my one two three blocks in this fashion to set mine I used the three inch side so whichever way you're going to be doing it that's the way you need to set them now this particular indicator is a lot finer resolution uh, this is two microns so it'll give you a lot better more accurate reading because it's just you're dealing with the higher resolution and so you can see what it is now 20 on this particular indicator is about 7 tenths so you can see this one's off height wise these two are the same these three were okay they were the same but here I have some that uh, were not you can see this one's off and you can see how far this one's off this one's about seven tenths difference so they're not all exactly the same so you want to make sure you check them preferably when you buy your one two three blocks you want to buy them in sets uh, these I picked up five sets from Shars and these are all pretty good they're pretty close um, dimensionally well I guess that wraps up this video guys make sure you double check your one two three blocks when you receive them clean them up real good um, I used like WD-40 to get all the grease and stuff off of them and then uh, washed them down and wiped them down real good uh, that wraps up this video double check your one two three blocks before you start making any kind of measurements on your uh, base table and column uh, you do want to make sure that they're all the same height shim is necessary and it'll give you the most accurate results thanks for watching guys stay tuned for the next video we'll start getting the rails mounted thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe to the YouTube channel and most importantly, be safe.